biggest problems we have in this country is that people without experience think that they can do something and in this country you don't have the depth of people with experience and those people are supposed to be used to be in leadership positions in the country and they're not. We haven't got people with depth of experience in life, work, in leadership positions. I think that's what's lacking in this country. So now I've decided that address some of the issues in relation to lack of leadership and uh, corruption and stuff like that. We need to publicize this and we have to do stuff another way. I only know the way that Australians taught me. And I think it's the right way because you get quality out of, quality product out of what they do. I mean, you can compare it to what's happening in uh, Papua New Guinea. He said, every time there's a problem that happens here and the Australians or foreigners point it out, we get defensive and we say, we're Papua New Guineans. You're not Papua New Guineans. We have to have a real answer for these things instead of getting defensive. That is arrogance. And it's not going to do this country any good or anyone any good. We've got plenty of money in this country. We don't use it properly. Most of it is stolen or otherwise wasted. If we use the money properly, we would have a proper education system, health system, we would have quality roads, we would have quality buildings. There's no quality in anything that happens in this country. Most of it is just wasted. So it's not a lack of money, but it's a lack of leadership. And that's what needs to be addressed, coupled with the corruption, is destroying this place. So I have gone one further, instead of publicizing by standing for elections in the NCDC. I've been taught by the Australians to do the things properly, and I want us to carry it through, and I want to see if I can contribute in this way still.